I'm here in Dumaguete City on the island of Negros in the Philippines. I've been here before, here on the island of Negros, a little over eight years ago. I was on the other side of the island in Bacolod City. And I had come there from Singapore to visit a woman who I was interested in at the time. Lovely, that was her name. Lovely, lovely. And yeah, she lived in Bacolod City. And at the time, Dumaguete was known as a hub for foreigners, for expats. And I was interested in it at the time, and it's been on my list of places to visit ever since. Earlier today, as I was trying to remember exactly when it was that I was here, it occurred to me I shot my very first YouTube video ever in the island of Necros, visiting a national park or a provincial park called Mumbukau. <laughs> yeah, that ridiculous video was, it was a template that I put together. I had made a few shots with a GoPro that I had just bought and slapped together that silly thing. If you're interested in watching it, I'll put it up at the end of the video in one of those little boxes. But yeah, I actually posted it on YouTube and it was in September of 2014. So yeah, that's, uh, that, that's how long it's been since I've been here in, uh, uh, in the Philippines. And, and it's good to be back. Dumaguete, even in 2014, was known as a hub for foreigners. Uh, you know, Westerners coming to the Philippines to retire. It was known as a nice place to do that even back then. And today, that reputation has blown up even more because of a handful of YouTubers who have come here and retired and done pretty well for themselves. And they've you know, got a couple of successful YouTube channels that they do right out of, right out here out of Dumaguete. So, Every day, I've been here for five days now, and every day I walk down that street to a uh, uh, to a coffee shop called Ground Zero, where it is Ground Zero for arriving uh, expats who have been watching people like uh, Paul, Old Dog Paul, and Mark Thornton, who I just did an interview with, and uh, Justin. Uh, Justin is a scuba diver and he has a channel all about little critters that he uh, that he photographs underwater and uh, he's actually a very accomplished scuba diver. So yeah, just this morning I was in that uh, coffee shop and I managed to get a uh, shot of all three of them uh, in, in, in one clip. And those guys, those very popular YouTube guys have really blown up the... Uh, Popularity and a desire on the part of foreigners to come here to this this part of uh, this part of the world it's a visit and some to settle guys come and go every day I've noticed that in just five days that I'm here now I'm not settling down here I'm on my way back to Bangkok uh, in a couple of days and I'll be glad to be home I've been traveling for over seven weeks now but uh, I'm really happy with the time I've spent here in Dumaguete it's a it's a friendly place they have this uh, Nice promenade along the waterfront where you have bars and restaurants and, uh, uh, you know, ways to get. I love these things. These are trikes, they call them, tricycles. And that's your basic form of transportation here. It's inexpensive, noisy, and it'll get you from point A to point B. So as I was putting my thoughts together for, for this video today, I was thinking many of the uh, YouTube shows that I see about guys coming to Dumaguete, they always talk about coming here because of the low cost of living, the low rents, uh, the tropical climate, the beaches, the scuba diving, all that kind of stuff. Hey, you know, what about the girls? I love when new guys come here and talk about, you know, the low rents and the nice weather and the beaches and the scuba diving and all that. I think they're leaving some of the story out of their motivation. I, I think one of the main attractors uh, for guys here are the women. You know, Filipino women, uh, actually, I've found in my 12 years in Asia that 
Southeast Asian women in general tend to uh, have traditional values and they're very caring people and they're nice, uh, they're nice women to make, uh, make relationships with and uh, that does attract a lot of guys. And there's a lot of players that come as well, that's available to them. And just as I was thinking I'm not seeing that much of that story, uh, Old Dog New Tricks Paul posted up a uh, video he did with a buddy of his that he calls Goldfinger, they, the name is Goldfinger, and Goldfinger said, yeah, I'm here for the girls. <laughs> then talked about having 200 hits on uh, Filipina Cupid and stuff like that. So yeah, you go Goldfinger, uh, lay a little truth on them. <laughs> so, I kind of like that. So yeah, this part of the world is uh, a lovely place to retire uh, for some guys. It wouldn't be for me, I'm a city boy. I live in Bangkok, I grew up in New York City. I like to be near a big city. I like big city amenities. I like the style of, uh, of Bangkok. Uh, there's museums and art galleries and stuff like that. And I like that. You know, you're not going to find that here. Uh, and there are other drawbacks here that you need to be prepared for if you're thinking about it. Food sucks. There's an old Woody Allen joke about pizza said that pizza's like sex. When it's good, it's great. When it's bad, it's, eh, it's still okay. Well, here in the Philippines, they seem to have broken that rule as well. If this pizza was like sex, I think I'd become celibate. Uh, Filipino, uh, Filipino cuisine is basically uh, uh, rice and beef, rice and chicken, rice and fish. You kind of get the idea. There's not a broad... Uh, menu of foodstuffs to choose from. Fortunately, here in Dumaguete, because of uh, how it attracts uh, foreigners, uh, there, there are a handful of restaurants here along the promenade that serve Western fare, and I have been able to feed myself uh, adequately. I have a very restrictive diet because I get gout and uh, I have to be careful about what I eat. And it hasn't been really difficult for me here to be able to feed myself. But uh, uh, you're not gonna see a gourmet food show about uh, Dumaguete anytime soon. So this is the final leg of my seven week trip around the world. Ends here in Dumaguete. In another two days, I'll be flying back to Bangkok. I'm looking forward to do the, doing that. I'm, I miss uh, uh, my Bangkok home and, and the girls there within. And I'll be making videos from there pretty soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.